Let's take a look at the start. Didn't go well for the 22 Climax Racing Mercedes clattered from behind from the number 13 Porsche and put into the ball. But a great start from James Yu around the outside of Wyan Chen take the lead. And here's a moment where the yellow and red Porsche of Anthony Liu tried to make a move on third place on Frankie Chain, went out wide and immediately Bob Yuan jumped through and pushed him back to fifth. A couple of Mercedes decided to run wide into the turn 16 gravel. No damage done other than places lost. And then making the moves. Anthony Liu up the inside and at that point Bob Yuan thought, oh well okay you're committed but we won't get damage and I'll just let you have the position at turn 14. A bit of bodywork out on the track and our championship leader Louvet looked under control and then suddenly someone got ambitious and Andre, Andre Canard dived up the inside. It looked as though the Ferrari had got away with the Porsche, clearly not. That was damaged back to the pits but eventually the Ferrari was brought in and part of the side of the car. Uh, was no longer attached, so both of those out of the race. Then it was the time for the pit stops, the run through the pits. How was it going to work? Bob Yuan coming to a standstill. Leo Yi Hong Lee rushing to get into position. The Ferrari was the last to come in, and it went back out into the lead of the race. But Liang, Liang Jia Tong did not have long in the lead because all those behind with one lap more on their tyres had got the temperature into them. They hunted him down, they passed him in very, very swift order. And then it was the run towards the finish. And was the Ferrari going to stay in fourth? Nah, fifth. And that was uh, Leo Yi Hong Lee diving up the inside. Was he going to gain any more positions? This is a moment, unfortunately, there. For the 63 Lamborghini, Ethan Yang Brown just getting it slightly wrong, and that led to a full course yellow. But as soon as the field was released, Akash Nandi started to look as though he had things under control, leading the race until that moment. At turn 11, going to turn 12, he ran wide. Alessio Ficari yellow looks as though he's going to finish in second place, but there was the opportunity for first place. That means 25 points. And then in behind, this was very busy. Great, great defence from Adelie Fong. He really, as they both tried to go around the AMAC Porsche, he just managed to keep the charging Leo Yi Hong Lee behind him and that has a real bearing on the championship there's a three-point swing that really would have put the top three challengers so close but Alessio Picario picked up the 25 points for victory making his teammate Anthony Liu very very happy indeed and bringing it home Anthony Liu greeted him in the pit lane they've got the points in the bag they'll have success penalty in the Sunday race but they have those points that could be vital Everybody.